Thank you for your time. This is, uh, my name is John. I'm gonna walk you through on how to add a device to the Paramount CMS. Okay, so for starters, uh, you're gonna open up your Paramount CMS. You're gonna log in. Uh, if you need more assistance with this, please reference the video of installing and logging in to the CMS 2.0. So you're gonna to come to the home screen to add a device. You're gonna to go to resource management. Now this, this holds true for whether you're adding a NVR, whether you're adding a DVR, whether you're adding a tablet, whether you're adding a standalone camera, okay? So this is gonna hold true for any of those devices, okay? After you click on resource management, you're gonna notice a whole bunch of device types. What we're adding is an encoding device, okay? That's really all we're gonna be dealing with. That's all that's really gonna come into play here. Okay, so, and that's across the board, tablet, NVR, DVR, it doesn't matter, okay? You're gonna go ahead and click the add button. After clicking the add button, you're gonna see this pop up, okay? Now, if you're adding via a local IP address, yes, you could use this. We typically recommend just going to the manual add section and you're gonna add the information yourself, okay? Now, there's a couple ways to do this, okay? You can add it via an IP address, okay? So if you have a local IP address and it's a desktop computer and the computer's not leaving anywhere and you're on the same network as either the recorder or the tablet, go ahead, put in the local IP address, put in the username and the password of the device that you're adding and go ahead and click test, okay? Now, if you're adding, let's say an NVR or a DVR and you have the QR code, okay? And it's that, that code that starts with the letter N, it's about 12 digits. The easiest way to do it, serial number. Okay, just make sure your NAT's enabled. You can reference another video if you, if you need to know more about that on the Paramount series. But you can go ahead and put in your QR code here. Okay, now this is not um, this is not on the tablets, the temperature tablets. So the temperature tablets will need an IP address or, or a DDNS, which you can do via the domain name. Okay, so the temperature tablets you would add the IP address. If you need to see the tablets remotely, you'll need to do port forwarding. Um, so you're gonna have to open up port 6036, port 554, and port 80, okay, on those tablets. Again, for the NVRs and DVRs, you can simply add them by going to serial number, inputting the serial number here, put in the username of the recorder, which should be admin, that doesn't change, all lowercase, and then input the password, okay? Once you input the password, the default password on the Paramount series is 123456, unless it was changed. You can hit test, make sure that the test is Successful. Once it's successful, you can hit OK. Okay, this is obviously going to fail. I did not put in a serial number here. Okay, once you press OK and you get a successful, you should uh, and you press OK. This is what you should see. It should be in dark uh, dark letters here. Dark lettering meaning the ser the server's online. If it's faded out, you're going to notice something that says offline here, and it'll be all faded out. Okay. Um, and then all you're gonna do is to view your, your uh, device, you're just gonna go back to the home, you're gonna click on live view. You're gonna see over here, default area, you open this up and you drag and drop the device into the corresponding box that you want it to display. If you have multiple cameras, you can literally grab the area and drop that in and it'll pull in all your cameras for you. And down here at the bottom is how you change your device uh, viewing. So you can view one screen, four, nine, 16, 25, 36, and you have some more options by hitting this up arrow here, okay? And it's that simple. That's really all you gotta do to add a device to your Paramount CMS. If you need any other help, please reference some of our other YouTube videos uh, regarding the Paramount series. Uh, there's a, a bunch on there uh, that, that will be able to help you out.